Have you ever wondered how N95 masks actually work? Well, let's find out. Let's break down what an N95 mask is. But first, destructive creativity exists for you, for science, and for fun. So if any of those things appeal to you, go ahead and smash that like button and maybe subscribe too. So with respirators, there's always a letter followed by a number. The N indicates that it is not resistant to oil particles in the air. If you need a respirator that has oil particle filtration, you need an R-rated respirator or a P-rated respirator. An R-rated respirator? That doesn't sound very good. No, an R-rated respirator is not made out of lace and leather. It is made out of more dense materials that will catch oil particulates. R is resistant to oil, whereas a P-rated respirator would be oil proof. But for the vast majority of consumers, you do not need anything to do with oil particles. So an N-rated mask is totally fine. What does the 95 mean? Well, you can get 95 rated masks, 97 and 99. Each of those represents the percentage of particles that this respirator will filter out that are larger than 0.3 microns in diameter. 0.3 microns, that's pretty small. Well, yes, it is small, but that's fairly large when you're considering things like the coronavirus. So the coronavirus is between 0.02 and 0.05 microns across, which means that on the face of it, an N95 mask, which only guarantees that it will filter out 95% of, of particles that are 0.3 microns or larger, how would this filter out anything that small? Well, this still works. It still filters out approximately 95% of all particulates regardless of the size. It's just that they don't guarantee it for anything smaller than 0.3 microns across. In recent tests, they've tested it with particles as low as 0.01 microns across, which is much smaller than the coronavirus, and it still blocks between 90 and 95% of those particles. I'll link that study down in the description somewhere if you want to take a look at it. So who gets to decide if a mask is N95 or not? Well, the N95 rating you'll notice that on every mask, it has a NIOSH symbol beside it. NIOSH stands for the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health in the States. It's a governing body that sets out the regulations so that they can put their seal, their stamp of approval on it, so that you know it's been tested and it works effectively for those guidelines. Now let's get into how they work. So some people consider this to be just a super tiny sieve. So you know how like a colander, if you pour your spaghetti into a colander, the spaghetti stays, but the water goes through it. Well, some people think that these are just like a colander. So the air goes through it, but the spaghetti or the virus sticks inside here because it's just too big to fit through those little tiny holes. That's not true. If the individual holes in this mask were smaller than 0.2 microns, there's no way that you could suck enough air through here to actually breathe. Essentially, it would be like holding a plastic bag over your mouth and trying to breathe through it. Yeah, it would protect you from the virus, but you'd be dead. How does this work? Air still gets through it, but somehow all of these particles don't. Well, the particles don't get through because of a marvel of microscopic engineering. Essentially, what you're seeing here is just a really confusing tangle of fibers. I say it's confusing because as you suck air in, air will travel through the path of least resistance. It will try and get from outside the mask into your mouth in the easiest path possible. What a mask like this does, it forces the air to change directions many, many, many times through small holes. So dust would be stuck on the outside of the mask because it does act like a sieve whereas the tiny particles will enter into the mask and because it's traveling with velocity, when the air changes direction dramatically over and over and over again, each particle will continue and get stuck because it will hit a tiny little wall inside and then if it makes that corner, it'll hit the one above it and if it makes that corner, it will hit another wall. These masks work because of the interwoven fibers. Now they're not woven like cotton because cotton is woven in individual strands which leave massive holes in between. So really, if you put a bandana over your face, you're not filtering out any particles except for very large pieces of dust and maybe some airborne moisture. 
So it's a good idea, but you're not filtering any of these smaller particles. But that's what makes these so much different, is because of the way that the fibers are woven, the air enters in and changes direction so many times that the particles just can't help but get stuck inside of this mask. Well, I hope what you've learned today has been educational. If you liked it, feel free to smash that like button. If not, good seeing you anyways. Till next time, I'm Jonathan Allers for Destructive Creativity. See ya!